Hey, and welcome to another video. Have you ever seen those digest emails and thought to yourself, that must take a lot of time to schedule those emails every week? Well, actually, they are automated RSS email campaigns. And in this video, I will show you how to set it up using MailerLite. This way, you can automatically send digest emails to your subscribers when you release new blog posts. There are a couple of steps involved to start sending RSS email campaigns with MailerLite. If you use WordPress, you need to add some code to your website to include your featured images in your RSS emails. Don't worry, I will show you exactly how to do it and you will not need a developer. In this video, I will show you how to configure your RSS email campaigns using MailerLite, but if you have another email marketing provider, then it's also possible to do this with them. I'm simply showing you MailerLite because it's what I'm using currently for email marketing. Before we get started, a quick word on what an RSS campaign actually is. This way you will understand what you are setting up. RSS is a web feed that allows users and applications to access updates to websites in a standardized computer readable format. MailerLite will read this information and output this in your digest emails. If you are using WordPress, you can take a look at your own RSS feed by typing slash feed after your domain name. You will see a plain text web page with a lot of text and your latest blog post will be on the top. Now let's dive into MailerLite and show you the first steps to setting up your RSS campaign. So here we are in MailerLite. I'm logged into my test account just for demonstration purposes. Um, if you haven't created an account yet, just simply create an account and log into your MailerLite account. Then on the top here, you want to go to campaigns. And we're going to create a new campaign. Now, you will have to choose a campaign type. So go to RSS campaign. The first thing you have to do is to copy and paste your RSS feeds URL. So how do you get this? Well, if you go to your website, so this is my website. And if it's a WordPress website, you just go to your domain name right here, type slash feed, and this will be um, your RSS feed. So you'll just copy this link, go back to MailerLite and paste it. Now let's say you want to create an RSS email campaign for a certain blog category of your website. This is also possible. So I will go back to my website. I will go to blog and let's say I want to create an RSS feed for event marketing. So this way, if people subscribe to event marketing content on my website, then I can send highly relevant emails for them. So I'll click on it. It will take me to the category page. And again, I'll type feed. Just wait for it to load. Um, Copy the link again and then simply uh, paste it here. What I like to do with my RSS email campaigns is to use the last blog title as my email subject line. So if I go back to this website right here, you'll see eight brilliant hosting platforms for your virtual events. I want this to be my email subject. So that means you will need to have dynamic content. It's very simple to set it up. You click on insert personalization, last post title. This will insert um, a merge tag and um, it's dynamic content to show the last post title. Who is this from? You can change this um, as you wish. And then you click on next RSS settings. Here you have a few options to configure your RSS campaign. You can select the timing, how often you want to send these campaigns. So just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to say I want to send um, this RSS campaign on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Up here, you can select the timing for your email marketing campaign. So I'm going to send on Tuesdays and Thursdays at six o'clock. So I'm going to select uh, 18 because I want to send it at six o'clock at night. And then for your RSS email campaign, you only want to send new posts. You don't want to send an email 
to your audience with all of the current posts that you have on your website. So it's very important to check this box, show only the new posts. And this will make sure that, for example, if you publish a post on Monday, it will be sent on Tuesday. But if you publish a post on Tuesday after six o'clock and on Wednesday, it will be sent on Thursday. Notifications, if you want to get a notification of your email marketing campaign, just type in an email address here and that person will get notified. In this case, I'm going to skip it. Then click on next content. Here you have the ability to select the templates. If you use the templates, you can also create a new one and there's a template gallery for pre-configured pre templates by MailerLite. In this case, I'm going to use my own templates um, just to make sure that it's, the branding is on point. So now it's time to actually design your RSS email. So this is my standard email template. So I'm first going to remove the existing block. And this is because MailerLite has some native RSS blocks. This will help you set up the RSS emails very quickly. So on the left navigation panel, click on all blocks and then click on RSS. So let's say you want to have an RSS email or an email digest with a featured article and a featured image. So then I'm just going to drag this into the place. And then here you'll see eight brilliant hosting platforms for your virtual events. And if you remember, that is the latest post on my website regarding event marketing. You'll know that it is currently not showing the featured article. But don't worry, when you preview it and send it, it will actually display. So if you scroll down, you'll see the other um, articles as well. Um, if you click on it, on this block, you can actually um, edit some settings. So for example, how many items do you want to show? So in this case, there's three, but let's say um, I will select 10. So if you create 10 new articles, then it will show 10 new articles in this email. Right, and um, you can play around with these settings. Um, I'm not going to waste your time on, uh, on this, but there's a lot of settings that you can change. When you first insert this block, you will notice that it is not displaying your featured images. This is because WordPress does not add your featured images to your RSS feed by default. To add your featured images to your RSS feed, you really have two options. Option one is to add a piece of code to your functions.php file. It is advised to use a child theme for this, and I've pasted the code in the description of this video. Simply paste this code at the bottom of your functions.php file and it's good. Option two, which is my preferred option, is by using a plugin called Code Snippets. Code Snippets allows you to insert code to your WordPress website without using the functions.php file. If you have made it this far in the video and you find this useful, consider liking this video and subscribing. So here we are in my live WordPress website and as you can see I've got the plugin installed called Code Snippets. So go ahead and add this plugin to your WordPress website if you haven't already and then on the left navigation panel you will see the plugin called Snippets. Click on it and then you are going to click on add new. In this case as it is my live website I've already added the code to my website so I'm just going to show you what it looks like. I've got it on the bottom right here, add featured image to RSS feed. So if you click on add new, this will be the window that you will see. Of course, everything will be empty, but just give it a title. Um, you can have the same one if you want. And then this is the type of code that you need to paste inside this little editor. It's very simple. There's a, one thing that you can change. So uh, I've got the image size set as large. You can change this to full size, medium, whatever you want, but large will work. Then just make sure to click run snippet everywhere. Then you scroll to the bottom and you click save changes. So then when you go back to MailerLite, it will still look like the image is not showing. All right, um, but don't worry. If you go to the right hand side here and you click preview and test, if you click on preview mode, then you will see that the image, images are actually here. So this would be the featured image of eight brilliant hosting platforms for your virtual events, and so on, and so on.
So I'm just gonna go back. Um, when you're all done editing, of course I'm not going to spend too much time now on editing, but when you're all done editing, just click on done editing. And when you get to this page, you can select the group that you want to send these people to. So I just made a digest email for event marketing for the category event marketing on my website. So let's say I had a group with event marketing. I don't have it and this is a test um, page. But if you would have it, you can select that or you can just click on all active subscribers. And then, let me just do that. And then click on next, review and confirm. And then if all went well, it will look something like this. So now if you want to activate it, click on next schedule. I always um, select this checkbox, use Google Analytics, so that in your Google Analytics, if people click on your links, for example, you will get that data under events and it just helps um, with some tracking purposes. But um, as, as you can read right here, campaign will be sent on Tuesday and Thursday at six o'clock using this feed URL. When you're all done, click on send and that's your RSS campaign set up. That was quite easy, wasn't it? Well, there you have it. This is how you can send automated emails through MailerLite to your subscribers when you release a new blog post. Now you can spend time on creating content. If this video was helpful, please consider liking this video and subscribing to this channel.